In this lecture, we'll see another basic C program that is to calculate percentage of five subjects. So I'm starting a program with a comment. It's a single line comment. Then comes the preprocessor directive that is hash include using which we're including the standard input output header file. Here is the main function whose return type is integer. As a return type is integer, we will be ending the main function using return zero statement. Let's do one thing. Let's replace this int by void. So void is another return type, but whenever we are using void, there is nothing to return. So for this, this return zero statement won't come. Inside this main function, I am declaring a few integer variables. So m1, m2, m3, m4, and m5. These are the variables which will be used for storing the marks of subject 1, subject 2, subject 3, subject 4, and subject 5. Then a variable called total, which will be storing the total of these marks. On the next line, I'm taking a variable called PER, that is per, for storing percentage. And the return type for this variable is float. Here, by making use of printf function, I am giving or I'm printing a message for the user to tell the user to enter the marks of five subjects and these marks are going to be out of 100. Here I'm making use of scanf function to accept the marks of five subjects. Either we can accept the values like this, that is by making use of a single scanf function or I can accept these values separate. For that, I'll have to make use of five different scanf functions. On the next line, we are adding the marks of these five subjects and assigning it to the variable total. Here we are calculating the percentage. For calculating the percentage, the formula will be total into 100 divided by 500. Now let's try to understand this formula. As we know that there are total five subjects, every subject is for 100 marks. So for five subjects, the total becomes 500. As we can see here, we are multiplying this total by 100, that is for getting the percentage. So if I want to simplify it, I can say it's total divided by 500 into 100. Finally, by making use of printf function, we are printing the person, that is you have scored percentf. This point two denotes two digits after the decimal. After making these changes, we can save the program. So I'm making use of a shortcut key that is control S. Now we can go to execute and first compile the code. We can see here this code has zero errors, zero warnings. Let's run the code. Here comes the output window where it is asking the user to enter the marks of five subjects. And based on these marks, it has calculated the percentage with a message that is you have scored 56%. In the next lecture, we'll see a C program to calculate gross salary of an employee. Thank you.